Hello, I'm Sydney Neely, and it's time for the shortcut. Coming up on tonight's show, alcohol-related problems are among the most significant public health issues in the U.S. Joining me on the shortcut to talk about dry January and the warning signs of alcohol abuse is Dr. George Kube, a world-renowned expert on how alcohol affects our health. Hi, Dr. Kube. Hi, great to be with you. Great having you. So what are some possible signs of an alcohol problem that may have surfaced during the holidays? So, I mean, if you've made someone uncomfortable with your drinking, that's a first start. But uh, I think even more broadly, if, if, you, if there's an impairment in social and occupational functioning, or put another way, you know, problems with interpersonal relationships or problems with work or not meeting deadlines or being late, or uh, these are some of the things that, if you link them to the alcohol, can be early signs of, of problems. And if we think a friend or family member may have a problem, what are some things we can do to get help? So one thing is you can have a chat with them and try and be as non-confrontational as possible. Maybe suggest uh, going to their physician for a checkup. That's usually something that will uh, trigger um, if there, there are really some problems developing. But there's also uh, what, what we have a, a, is a website, alcohol treatment, niaa.nih.gov. It, it's called the Treatment Navigator, and that will tell you what an alcohol use disorder is, um, the spectrum of an alcohol use disorder from low to moderate to severe, the spectrum of treatments that are available. And also you can type in your zip code and actually find a treatment facility in your locale. That's so good to know. And more people spend time at home due to the pandemic. That's no secret. What kind of impact has COVID had on drinking rates and health? Well, COVID has been a, a very st stressful period. Uh, one of the biggest stressors, of course, is our, our lack of uh, interaction with our fellow human beings, which has been uh, produced by the pandemic. That plus all the other stressors from economic to jobs to, uh, to worrying about uh, getting sick you know, contribute to about 30% of the population has actually been increasing their drinking to cope with the stress of the pandemic. And can taking part in dry January be a healthy first step? Yes, um, it, it, at a minimum, it allows you to reevaluate your relationship with alcohol. It definitely is a good idea. Thank you so much, Dr. Koob, for joining us. That's all the time that we have for tonight's show. I'm Sydney Neely, and I'll catch you next time on The Shortcut.